You guys have been asking for a guide on how to get your phone to look clean and minimalist like this. That is exactly what we're here to do today. By the end of this video, your phone will look exactly like mine, but I'll even show you a few extra tricks in case you want to customize yours in your own way. Let's get started with the first and easiest step, getting you an awesome wallpaper. Now the stock Android wallpapers aren't bad, but to get to the level of this home screen, we'll need to step it up a little bit. Right now, abstract backgrounds are popular, so I'm going to show you how to get exactly my wallpaper, but I'm also going to show you how to get other abstract backgrounds in case you prefer that. Now keep this in mind, when picking a background, keep it clean. Your apps are going to go on top of this wallpaper. So if the wallpaper is too complex, your phone's just gonna look like a cluttered mess. Go for something minimalist. This way you can see the icons clearly, it's gonna look a whole lot better. Head over to the Google Play Store and download the Backdrops application. Upon opening the Backdrops application, you're gonna see a ton of amazing wallpapers. So the one I ended up selecting was Journey Earned, but don't be afraid to pick something else if it's more your style. The selection here is fantastic. You can't really go too wrong. Just remember to keep it minimalist. Once you end up finding your wallpaper, click the set button and apply to both. Now, if you really prefer a photography-based background instead of an abstract one, you can download Resplash from the Google Play Store as well. Personally, I think the abstract backgrounds look a little cleaner, but there's some fire photography backgrounds on Resplash if that's your preference. By the way, I drop a brand new tech video every single Sunday, so if you don't want to miss the next one, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Next, let's get you a custom icon pack. So a custom icon pack is going to offer you a consistent theme for all your icons. The the problem with the default icons is there's a big variation between the sizes and the colors of each icon. It can look a little bit sloppy. The fix is there are hundreds of third-party icon packs on the Google Play Store, tons of which are free. We'll cover 10 really good free ones now. The pack I'm currently using is called Wecons. It's a simple, clean white icon pack, but in case you want to look at some other options, here are 10 free high-quality icon packs that you might like. Zwart, Viral, Lines, Moonrise, Emptos, Almug, Unicorn, Vlaricons, Matte Black Icon Pack, and Candy Cons. So take some time and consider which one you like the best. Once you've got your Icon Pack in mind, go ahead and search for it on the Google Play Store. When you find it, select it and press install. Now, the next thing we need to do is clear off your existing icons so we can add in the new ones. First, click and hold on an app and press select. Now, select all the apps on the screen one by one and press delete. Don't panic, this won't delete all your apps. It's just gonna hide them from the home screen. Next, press and hold on any widgets and press delete. Now, to add the icons in, we're going to need a free application called KGWT. This is a super powerful application that is free. What we're going to do is essentially create widgets to create custom app icons on the home screen. So first, long press your home screen and open the widgets menu. Scroll all the way down to the custom widget section and select a vertical widget. Resize as needed and tap the create button in the top left. Now click the plus icon in the top right, tap image, and then tap image again under the items menu. Now click on pick image. From here, you'll find yourself in a regular file browser. Scroll down and navigate to your icon pack and just search for whatever icon you need. Now your icon is loaded in the widget, but it's just sort of in the middle here. So let's move it into position that makes sense. So swipe over to the position tab and adjust the position so your icon is where it needs to be by using the offset settings. Scroll over to the touch page and hit the plus sign in the top right. Then at the bottom of the screen, click none and none again and select launch app. Now select the app that you want the app icon to launch. So in this case, Twitch. This is the step that's going to turn your icon from just a picture on the screen to a button that actually does something when you click it. Now come backwards and go back into the original root layer. Check the image layer here and click the pencil icon in the top right. Renaming this layer in the future is gonna make it so much easier to keep track of your app icons. So that's essentially the full process for creating a single app icon. By the way, I know this process can be a little tricky. If you need any help along the way, feel free to comment below. I'll answer every single question. Let's do one more app icon together so you guys can get the hang of it. After that, I'll let you guys finish filling out your widget on your own. So click the plus icon in the top right again, tap image, and then tap image again. Click on pick image. Navigate to your icon pack and search for whatever icon you need. In this case, Instagram. Swipe over to the position tab and adjust the position so your icon is where it needs to be by using the offset settings. Scroll over to the touch page and hit the plus sign in the top right. Then at the bottom of the screen, click none and none again and select launch app. Now select the app that you want the app icon to launch. So in this case, Instagram. Now come backwards and go into the original root layer, check the image layer and click the pencil icon in the top right again and name your layer. I won't show the entire process for every single icon because it would make the video too long, but I'll show you the position properties you can use for each of them. This will save you a lot of time. So for the rest of the left column, the X offset should be set to negative 55. For the right hand column, the X offset should be set to 55. Then for the Y offset, the top row will be set to negative 280. 
the next will be set to negative 180. And after that, negative 80, 20, 120, and they will just keep increasing by 100 until the end. Now, once you finish that setup, you have a beautiful and minimalist home screen. But let's take one final step to upgrade this even further. Let's add one more custom widget. Tap and hold your screen and then select the widgets button at the bottom. Go to the custom widgets section and add a horizontal widget. Now, tap the horizontal widget and we can begin looking for your dream widget. On this page, there are a ton of free packs to choose from, so feel free to grab one if you like it better than mine. But the one I use is IKW002 from the base custom widget pack. And the final result is pretty dope, I have to say. It is a lot of work, but the difference between this and the default home screen is not even in the same universe. Enjoy bragging to your friends that their home screen sucks. But we have an even more hype video coming next Sunday. Every single Sunday, we release a video about gaming and tech. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And don't forget, I have a bunch of other videos that are similar to this one. So check out one of these two videos that pops up on the screen because these are the videos YouTube thinks you will enjoy the most. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Peace.